Fettuccine Alfredo. It often gets a bad reputation, and that's because a lot of people are making it wrong. This pasta only has three ingredients, and there's one little secret that you need to do that's gonna make this the easiest and most delicious pasta you've ever made. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Matt and this is Sunday Supper. Where every single Sunday I give you one of my 50 life-changing recipes for home cooks and today we are doing fettuccine alfredo. I've got to admit, I didn't think this was actually an Italian pasta recipe. I thought it was an Italian American version that's sort of been bastardized by some of the retail big box restaurant chain throughout the United States. But it turns out this is actually an authentic Italian dish but they make it really differently than a lot of American chains do. The key is no cream. Under no circumstances are we going to put cream in there. There's only three ingredients that we're going to use. And then there's one technique that you can use in lots of different pasta recipes that's going to bring this all together. Let's show you how to make it. So for this, we need butter. This is basically a butter and cheese pasta. And for the cheese, we are gonna use Parmigiano de Reggiano. You don't wanna buy that pre-grated stuff that comes in a can. You wanna get this, it's a little more expensive. If you use that pre-grated cheese, when you get to making the sauce, it's gonna clump up and it's not gonna work really well. You wanna save a bit of money. Grana Padano is another Italian hard cheese that works really, really well. It's usually aged a lot less, so you don't get as complex of a flavor. It's the same general cheese, and you can swap it out if you're looking to save a bit of money. The last thing that we have is, where is it on here? Is fettuccine pasta. This is an Italian brand, which I like a fair bit. There's lots of great ones that you can use here. In fact, you can even use a different noodle if you wanted. Fettuccine and tagliatelle, they're ribbon pastas, which means they're cut pastas. And you can use any of those. You could use anything like spaghetti or linguine or those things as well, which are extruded pastas. Oh, people might go crazy at me in the comments. But I think all of those are perfectly good examples. Use whatever pasta you want. Let's start breaking all this down. So one of the keys with any of these egg pastas is that they're going to cook very, very quickly. Usually it says somewhere on here, yeah. So this is gonna cook in three minutes. The last thing that we're gonna do is cook the pasta. We're gonna prep the rest of our stuff beforehand. So let's set this aside. And that leaves us with just two more ingredients, which is our Parmigiano Reggiano and our butter. What we need is equal parts by weight. So let's start measuring these out. So now that I've weighed out the butter, we need to cut this down into a really small dice so that it melts once we add our pasta. So we've got this into nice small cubes. So let's set aside and do our parm. To grate this down, I'm gonna use a microplane grater. You could also use a box grater. Use the smallest side that you have. Avoid this side. It's not the end of the world if you use this side, but this is gonna make it a lot smaller. It's gonna melt a lot better when we get to making our sauce. The only other thing that we need is a large heat proof bowl. We're actually gonna finish the pasta in here. So it's gotta be able to have basically close to boiling water in here. These stainless steel bowls are great. I'm gonna add my butter and grate up my Parmesan right into here. And then we can start boiling the water for our pasta. So this pot is a fair bit smaller than I would use if I was making pasta another way. The reason for that is I want this water to get really, really starchy. When I cook this fresh pasta, starch is gonna come off of it and we need this pasta water in the next step. Less water means a starchier or a more concentrated pasta water, which is gonna be really, really important as we go on. I'm gonna cook my fettuccine just a little bit less than the package says. So this is where the magic of this recipe really happens. I've got my cooked pasta here and I've got my cheese and butter mixture here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the pasta right into my butter and cheese mixture, stir it to combine, and use the secret ingredient, which is some of that really starchy pasta. That's water. gonna form an emulsion, and that is gonna make our really delicious, creamy, with no cream, fettuccine alfredo. So that's as easy as it is to create an authentic fettuccine alfredo. You can see, even on the plate still, it's really, really creamy, which is just that cheese and that butter emulsifying in the pasta water. It is an incredible trick. It is super easy to make, but let's give it a try. Let's see how it tastes. There's no reason to ever eat fettuccine alfredo any other way. So this is light, this is still creamy. The Parmesan cheese you taste a lot, it's absolutely fantastic. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get a chance to make this at home. We'll see you next time.